for me it was like a bug. Um, didn't didn't really mean to do geology, but got into it, and and then all of a sudden you start you, you can't just look at landscapes and think, oh that's a nice hill. It's, you, you start wondering how it was created. I'm Christopher Bennett. Uh, I'm a senior geologist, engineering geologist, on the uh, large Cotter Dam. Uh, my role has been to supervise the drilling rigs for the past five months. We've been using some very old but reliable min drills that uh, we're heli portable, we can winch them around if we need to. Um, just not too many machines around that'll do that type of work that can get the depths of the holes and still be light enough to get in there type thing. We've been doing some, I don't know, 120, 130 metre holes. There's min drills bigger than that that'll do a thousand metres type thing, but we didn't need them for this job. And uh, mulligans seem to have most of what's left of min drills in the country, I think. And <coughs> they're just diamond drills, just sort of man portable, basically. Just look at the dr look at the core that comes out, the rock core, and describe it. And um, if the drillers have any issues about you know when they're drilling away to about access or something like that, you have to exp um, organise the logistics. With uh, because the borehole's been angled, it means that um, you um, we, what we do is we make a reference line along the core normally, and um, then we measure up each individual joint, and uh, that way we can know um, try and work out where the, each individual joint is down our slope, because we actually measure like the angle that the borehole's going on, and the direction, and so that can all be. Um, Pull back together. Since April, the company's been here. Ryan, Ryan was here first, I think, and yeah, it's just got bigger and bigger. There was about a dozen of us, I suppose, running around here at some stages, some stages with probably four rigs running, maybe more. One, two, three, four, maybe five rigs running sometimes. Just writing up my last drill log, which we'll cover for today. It'll uh, just, yeah, got to keep our times, depths, a bit of stuff about the rock, etc. But not, don't need too much on these holes because the GAs are logging the core as we present it to them. Blokes of our age shouldn't be doing it. It's a young man's thing, but the young men don't seem to be turning up to do it. So uh, us old guys have to get dragged away from our families to go drilling. Is that right? Is there, there's a shortage of workers? Is that what you mean? Oh, drillers for sure, yeah. Diamond drillers. They're yeah, a fairly rare thing, I think. Get blokes that'll stick to it for very long because you get dragged, you're never home. It's not a real good lifestyle, but it's alright. You know, you can't see, you can't see what's below you. You know, so that below your feet all the time. So you're trying to use bits of puzzle to put it together and make a scenario of what's occurred from, uh, like all the theories that make up geology, as well as um, sort of just what you're seeing. Yeah. So it's uh, it is a definitely a curious, curious sort of um, topic to do, but always always fascinating and, and I suppose yeah, good hard work. <laughs> 